Hey guys, Neil over here. Now for today's video, I got two things to talk about. E. Ray Coma, the Basel defender, being linked to Arsenal. I'll be talking briefly about that. Still early days, but let's talk. Also, Thiago Almada, the Argentine winger, being linked with Arsenal. Also, Manchester United are also linked with him as well. So I'll be talking about all the facets around that. But until then, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. Please do continue to comment, like the videos, and leave your comments. Now, it's time to get started. So, we got to talk. E-Ray Coma, Basel defender, been linked with Arsenal, 22 years old, and... To be honest, when I saw this news pop up about an hour ago, I thought, I could talk about that. Let, let's see what's going on. Never heard of the guy. Obviously, we know Basel, you know, generally in the Champions League, sometimes at the Europa League. But, you know, a, a good level of team of player that we should be looking at. So, e -Ray Coma is valued right now at £2 million. And it said, in, I know it's in the sun, but got to talk about it fired at two million and arsenal are looking for to put in a bid for two million pounds for the swiss defender when the article first come came up i thought why has this come up like let, let's be really honest why has this come up and obviously you know with granite jacker being there who's to say this wasn't a bit of a hey you should check out e-race see you know he's a good defender like he'd be good for the team but, I mean, I have watched a few videos, and yes, the YouTube videos, and he looks okay. Like, he's the he's the typical Arsenal type of centre-back that we would go for. He's, technically, he's really good. Um, reminds me a bit of uh, Socrates, except a bit more technical, can, can pass the ball really well. Is he a good defender? I, I can't tell from the videos so far. I would say, eh. but it's it's still early days. It's really difficult to say and really put something concrete down to say, no, he's not a good defender or yes, he's a fantastic defender. But it's Arsenal again looking trying to strengthen their defence and that's exactly what we want. So let's see what happens to that kind of going forward. And then finally, something that has been around for the past couple of days, but just really haven't gotten a chance to kind of look at it. And the reason being is because I just didn't think Arsenal would really be serious in it. But it's continued to be brought as a big issue. But Thiago Almada. Now, I know AFTV talked about it earlier on today, but I thought I'd give my two cents uh, towards it. And... And Thiago Almada, versatile player. I mean, I know everybody's talking to him about being the Mesut Ozil re replacement. I can tell you one thing. I can see why they would say that. And I could see that he potentially could be better than Mesut Ozil. Now, he, he hasn't scored a lot of goals and he hasn't gotten a lot of assists. But just the type of player that he is. Relatively small, quick, nimble, lots of technical ability. Would fit into the style of play that Arteta is trying to build and would to be really honest when you're looking at the prices talked about 22 million would be considered um, pretty good value for money um, especially since he's been valued as the best player uh, there right now in that league and you, you know what these are players that Arsenal need to capitalize on because Manchester United are said to be looking at him and it said even today in the Sun that Solskjaer is not waiting around. Man City were looking at him about six months ago. And Solskjaer wants to get this guy in. Uh, supposedly. Supposedly. All supposedly. Uh, and But at the very least, you could see that City are interest, was interested in him. United are interested in him. Arsenal are interested in him. And there isn't that many times that you see the traditional kind of big clubs like Arsenal and Manchester United chasing one player. Um, the last time you see saw that, we signed Gabriel Martinelli and look at where what's happened there. 
So could we say that this is another Gabriel Martinelli type of situation? Uh, possibly. I mean, obviously, they're both South American, one being Argentinian, Gabriel Martinelli being Brazilian. But it's an opportunity for us to continue to grow, evolve, and develop the squad, which is exactly what we need to be doing. And from what I've seen from Thiago Almada, the five foot seven Argentinian, reminds me a lot of a Santi Cazola, but maybe a younger Santi Cazola who has a bit more speed and pace about him. Um, he could be the option can play both on right and the left, as well as the number 10. So lots of versatility, especially when we've just seen recent rumours about Ryan Frazier and him looking like he's going to Tottenham. I do think that Arsenal are looking for a player who's versatile enough where they could play both right and left pretty comfortably, as well as a number 10, because long-term, Ozil is not going to be the future. But guys, what do you think of everything that I've talked about? Thiago Almada, do you think he's a worthwhile player that we should be going after? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have gone on and watched or seen parts of the clip from AFTV and other, other YouTubers out there. Leave your comments below. Also, what do you think of E. Ray Coma and Arsenal's potential going after him? The Basel defender seemed to be a good value for money. Leave your comments below, whether you're an Arsenal fan or Manchester United fan or City fan. Leave your comments below on what you think of, of those two. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.